hello on this and that, and I'm playing out of order. And, well, now that I know about this, um, thing with the CD, I guess it's time to go talk to that reporter guy again. Let's see, how did he get that tunnel to appear? Well, simple. He did this. Oh, uh, something. That didn't work. Beta, Gamma, Delta, Colda, Zeppa, Halter. Hello. No, that is not it either. Help me, Rhonda. Help! Help me! Um, Rhonda? Whatever. Um, yeah, it's Spuds. That yelling crap thing was just a diversion. The password Spuds. And it's most certainly not Presto, like you suggested. Well, I suppose that's one way to walk down that slope. Hey, reporter guy. Got something to say. Hi. Oh yes, hello. Um, so, my story then, about the meetings. Yes, got any f gone further in your research? Well, I got the CD f from the room next to the auditorium. And you know why the CD has this, uh, as effect it does? Yep, subliminal messages recorded backwards on the CD. See, don't you remember from last time? I got my stereo to play it backwards. I heard what they say. We've nearly got a story here. The biggest story I've uncovered yet. The biggest story you've uncovered? Oh, right. We then. I, I found everything out. I played the CD backwards. I uncovered the story. Yep. Look, look, friend. This magazine is a group production. Everyone involved takes equal credit for all the stories. Fine, at least I'll get my name printed in the next issue. Don't be daft, it's my magazine. So, any chance I can hear it for myself? Well, unless you've got a tape on you. So you could come up to my floor back in the apartment block, accommodation block. Too busy for that. I can't leave my magazine HQ. Well, of course you can't. I'd better bring you a copy then. So the question is, how do I do that? Well, that's gonna have to wait. For now, I got another puzzle I gotta solve. I think you know the one. Yes, you see this room? Well, now to take a look at this here again. You see this, this, um, you see this clue here? You see, I've been looking at it, at it all wrong. Now allow me to try again. First of all, the username, I was correct the first time, is HB. Keep in mind that this yeah, it changes from playthrough to playthrough, so you know, don't expect this to be your answer if you play this game. Now the answer. Now for the question. Remember that? U47 to be empty? U47 to be empty? Oh, no. Anyway, the password is U. No, no. U. Four seven to be M T. See? U four seven to be empty. Get it? Huh? I've logged in. Okay, I logged in now. Well, you gotta use a computer. No use of documents, no games, no cartoon screensavers. Nothing left for me to do but load up a message for me. What kind of computer is this? I mean, seriously, where's the cartoon news but wallpaper? Uh, screen set, what kind of that? Kind of oh goody, pointless startup sounds. What would you like to do today? Do you remember pointless startup sounds? Of course you do. Anyway, um, let's, uh, hey, let's see what we received. Yeah, let's peek through his emails. We have one new message. Cool. Circular warning about people unapproved behaviors, eh? Little warnings about Urban Leopards magazine and wow, they mentioned me at the meeting. Wow, you're getting famous, Herford. It's going to say that I've been more strange electromagnetic disturbances. They're apparently emanating from Dr. Facebook. How odd. 
that doctor has a basement? Hmm. Who knew? Okay. I'd like to send a new message. Please note the address at which the message to be sent. Herford slip slips thing. Message to be sent to Herford slips thing. State your message. Hello, me, it's me. Testing, testing, lots of love, me. Tet sending. Hello, hello, it's me. Testing, testing, lots of love, me. Invalid address. Oh, I guess that's I'm not a new address. Well, of course you wouldn't be. Hmm. Okay, show me all the messages I've sent recently. Yeah, I've recently sent three messages. Okay, anything interesting? Which one do you want to read? Uh, message one. That's it, eight days ago. I don't see anything other about that or interesting about the matter. Fine then. What about message two? Anything interesting in message two? The race is really me. Hello, meeting organizer. Just to make a quick note. Blah, blah, blah. Town date system. Town date? Never heard of it. You mentioned all the residents. That would be great. Thanks. Hmm. Okay, what's in the three? Hello, few possible assist. Oh, this must be that tame down soon. Tell me something. Okay, fine. I'd like to send a brand new message to Accommodation Computers, yes. Big message. Dial date's working again. Tell the residents about it. the message? Leave evidence? Here? No, I don't think so. You have no new messages. Huh. Well, uh, I'd like to send another message. Uh, um. Hi, Dan. Me, Harper. I'm in the office. <laughs> Would you like to send a message? No. Nah. So, I wonder how he's going to respond to that message. Now. Right, so. Uh, so, what am I going to do now? Good. And, and I know. I can have a chat with that doctor. He's probably got something to say about that um, you know, electronomatic stuff. So, here we are at the doctor's reception place. Anything going to be different over here? No, of course not. So, have you got anything to say about this stuff I just found? Yeah? What's this here I... Just what's this I hear about your basement? Basement? I don't have a basement. I've been taking lessons and taking... Uh, well, of a magazine editor. Any... For any time? Uh, blah! And even if I have a basement, which you do... Yeah. God, I hate it when people do that. Ha <laughs> ha, so you do have a basement. Yes. I'm not letting the likes of you in... Oh, why is it that I suck at reading out loud when I'm recording a video? Oh, as long as this doesn't end up like that first time, let me the other time. I mean, I'm still getting comments about that. It's irritating. Any joy finding out what's wrong with me? Not yet. Still researching. Please met me into your basement. Another chance is my private oddities. Please let me in your basement. Maybe if I keep go uh, asking. You know. Yeah. Damn it, that don't work. Yeah, see you later, patient. It's under here, isn't it? Ah, fine, whatever. Hmm. 
Hmm. So what do I do now? That is a question of which I've just asked. Hmm. I've got an idea. I think I remember how this goes. Doctor, yeah, him. Yeah. Hi, hi, hello. Can you get into Doctor's basement from down here? Why ever would I let you use the door to the surgery basement? Well, because he's trapped and he can't get out. Yeah, that, that's a very good reason. Yeah, I'll sound serious, but to be honest, I'm not sure I can help. I don't think I'm going to like this. Well, the sensor near the back door is a strain uh, near the back. This whatever. Blah. I keep remote control, which opens it. So, what's the problem? I've forgotten the combination. Well, simple, we just mash all the buttons so we get it. Let me give it a shot, I'm good at this sort of thing. Sure. Sure you can't remember the combination? No, yeah, it's only a four digit number. I've just been here since I've had to unlock it. Guess I'm on my own here. Alright then. Now for the tried and tested method of just mashing buttons until you get an answer. Wait a minute. Oh, I get it. It's one of those puzzles. It's like... Resets every time you get it wrong. It's like 3, 5... 3, 5... Oh, no. 3, 5, 2... Ah, 6. No. 3, 5, 2... One, no, three, five, two, four. Three, five, two, three. I'm gonna get there eventually. Three, five, two, five. There we go. That probably was an easier way to do that, but I never really looked into that. So, now to take this here cassette. How have I taken enough of the Doctor's stuff for one day? Yeah, you're right, I haven't. Yeah, that's the spirit. So now look at this strange evil. I have no idea what this stuff is for. Well, go touch it. Okay, fine, be a wimp. So yeah, can you guess what I'm going to do with this tape? Well, it's pretty obvious, so I'm just going to cut to the room. Okay, now we're in the room. Time to go and do this stuff. Okay, stick, tape, and cassette. Primed and ready to record. I wonder... No, yeah, I think this is an actual thing that's possible. You know, stick the tape in, record on that, and you record the CD. Or a radio, if you're listening to radio. That's right. It's fun to record the radio. I mean, what's not to love about recording your radio? There's nothing illegal about it, right? Probably, or is it just broadcasting radio? On something and playing back radio on a video? Wait, what do you mean you haven't recorded everything? It's primed and ready to record. I can't record it, and I got the microphone. Okay, fine. Can't pick up any radio stations. Very well, then. So what, why didn't that record? Huh. So shouldn't that be recording? I haven't recorded everything onto it. Oh, am I supposed to use the CD on cassette and radio? Is that it? Is that a thing? Because then there's... what? I'll record the meeting on the meeting CD. 
Okay, why didn't you just do that from the first place? Go to your room, everything is wonderful. I think we might have covered this. Good job I can't hear it that way around. Yes, it certainly is. Great, now I have a tape with subliminal messages on it. Now to present this, um, now to present the, the evidence of subliminal messages to Wendy and break her up with Robbie. Wait, hang on. Wrong thing. Hello, Mr. Journalist. I believe I've got some evidence for you. Oh, the Urban Leopard, whatever. Perhaps I'd better do, do explain rather than just handing it over to him. Okay, fine. Hi, hello there. So my story is with blah, blah. Research. Yeah, recorded it backwards. Can I hear it? Any chance you can hear it? Yep, yeah, I've got everything here right in this tape. There's an old hi fi in the doctor's basement if you want to hear it. Of course I do. Kenny doesn't even unfold his arms to walk. You want to hear this tape then? Of course! Jeez, oh, he's losing his temper already. Patience. Maybe it's because I made him walk. Get your ears. Get your ears around this. Go to your room, everything is wonderful. You love this place and it loves you. You will only leave your room if you are summoned. Well, I never. First class detective work and no mistake. Thanks. So what now? Well, now we've got now you give me a two-page written proposal for your story. If, you're, if the proposal looks good, you do an eight-page draft. First draft. A few drafts later, let's say six or seven, you present me with your final 12-page article. And add it to the paper. What, did you think journalism was going to be easy? I reserve the right to trim it to a paragraph or so, if, I, if required, of course, so that it fits. Yeesh. See, like I said, you know, journalism is easy, isn't easy. Uh, actually, wait, I don't think journalism works on me. But again, I don't know. I'm only m sort of studying it right in right now. Uh, let's see, oh, that's another way around. There's another way you trim it to a paragraph. I'll trim you to a paragraph. Did I type my like a word? Yeah, let's go with this one. Trim it to a paragraph, I'll trim you to a paragraph. What does that mean? I have no idea. Well, it means he's going to trim your... And I'll tell you what. I'll wait here and you try to think it up in the, the title. I think a non-stop work... And a non-stop work of, a, of an editor. It's tough life for sure. Oh, he's trying to think of an edit, edit title. Hi. Oh, yes, hello. Hmm. How come you got a door to in Doc's basement? This is part of the architect when I moved in. Any idea why your magazine he was in your head magic <laughs> magazine headquarters before you? Not at all. I happened to knock a, a hole in the wall one day. Oops. And found an enormous chamber underneath, complete with a door. Well that's handy. So, did you happen to also just randomly say spuds? Um, I don't know, what would get you to say spuds? Yeah, yelled someone live, kicked you and you love spuds? Um, you say you would like some spuds with your food dinner thing? Ah, oh, whatever. Tell me about the magazine, of course. What about it? Actually, I don't care. Let's go off. And look at the stranger. I have no idea what to start for. I'll be another one of Doc's inventions. I'm not going to touch it then. I've blown up enough of his hard work for one day. You know what's it for? What does it do? Not a clue. I'll find out. Hey, Doc! Yes? Come down here and show off your invention. What are you doing in my basement, leopard? I thought I made my point when I changed the code on that door. Ew. Is it top secret? I've worked out the way- Oh, hello, Payton. Hi. Where was I? 
you worked out a way to something. Thank you. I mean, at least it's pleasant to him. I wave the mother finder next to the um, living organisms. So I may can be no. Hang on a second. I don't need to explain myself for the likes of you. You'll only go and tell everyone in that stupid magazine of yours. No, I won't. I've uh, stopped printing that. Since when? Shush. Can you ex please explain it to me, Ben? Well, yes, I can see that you seem decent no, enough, but I'm not saying anything with him around. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Remember that dating thing with Jig back in the office? Let's go check that out again. Remember those messages I sent before, you know, about the, the dating thing? Well, let's talk to this here thing. Uh, do you know what you just called me? No, no, what? Approximately a... Oh. I went to the meeting and they brainwashed me. What's going on here? Brainwashed? Are you sure? Well, oh, crowd. Thanks, I'll be off now. Before you go, I've been asked to tell you about something called Date Town. Can't I? Really? Well, I never. It's a computer dating service where you can find your perfect match. You can find his perfect match? Interested? Why not? Might be fun. Okay, fill in one of these forms and return it to me. Okay then. I know who to take one of these to. Yeah, Sylvia, come in. It's you. Oh, it's you. Hello, sweetie. Hang on there for a second. Alright. Do you mind signing this? You want to fill one of these then? What is it? It's an application form for a, a photography course. I don't need to take a course. They want you to teach it. Well, I suppose I could find some time to help the fans, you know. A few seconds of tidy writing later. Thanks. No, no. Thank you. Now why is he gone? Yep. The Herefords. Slitishly. A real ladies man. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. Um, you. Wrote a computer thing. I need another one of them applications. Go on then. In fact, go to the hell with it. Have the rest of the pile. So yeah, apparently they he had roughly two. Hmm. That's plentiful. Alright then, time to go off to the other place. Yes, back here. And just gotta give this application to Urban Leopard here. Wanna fill one of these in? What is it? An application for a, a journalism course. I don't need to take a course. I can see where this is going. They want you to teach it. It's about time my genius was recognized. Hand it over. Full, a full minute of inky scrolling later. Thanks. No, no. Thank you. Right, so. Now we've got these. I was like, yeah, so interested. That, that, that. Right. Let's take a bunch of here. Interested in uh, exposing society to sham and undermining authority, eh? <laughs> Look at that handwriting. Now to just fill in these. Let's add in Herman Leopard's interests. And Sylvia's interests. And now we got that. See? A big difference between handwriting styles there. Now then, off to submit these. Hello, Mr. Computer. I got some forms for you. Hey computer, I got something to fill on this form. 
Wonderful, I'll just scan it and add the details of the database. Done. Fantastic. Hey computer, I got Sana fill in this form. Blah, blah, blah. Done. Fantastic. Oh, hang on. Incoming message from Town Date Machinery. We have a match. We have a perfect match. Well, fancy that. So what now? Oh, the system will summon the lovebirds in a second or so. Of course. Clever. I have the strangest feeling all of a sudden. A sudden urge to go to the bar at the shopping center. I can't explain it, but... Okay, I seem to be heading for the door. Yes, and now you're gone. Ooh, she's left her door open. Nuts. Yeah, remember those all those shut her. <laughs> she can't shut it herself. Surgical glove. Even though the glove doesn't really make his hand big enough. See this here room? Well, it's not really that like, helpful at the moment. Just remember this fire. I remember it well. In fact, I gotta mess up her fire because I hate her. I got the slight suspicion that this drink might be flammable. I know I'm only a computer game character, but safety first. Oh, flaming. It looks like there's an electronic trunk behind it. Are you kidding me? Hmm. You sure? Fine, whatever. I'll be off somewhere else then. And now we're back here again. And I notice someone hasn't quite gone off to their date yet. Hi. Oh yes, hello. Aren't you meant to be seeing someone? Or do you say so? Do you to say that? I thought so too. Or at least I, sudden, I suddenly had a voice in my head. It says there was someone waiting for me in the pub upstairs. I figured it. I must have imagined it. Uh, must have been an in intuition. Go! You, what have you got to lose? I don't think I should. What with the magazine and all? I still got lots of work to do. What do you mean, you? You know, socializing has been... What? Socializing. Yes, socializing has been provided to awaken the mind, quicken the lips, and the, the, the senses. That was sharpen the senses. Thanks. Is that really true? Absolutely. Now, I wouldn't do all the thing to help with the work in the term. I guess. Now go then. Live the little. In the name of work. Yeah. And now that loser's gone. I'm sure I'll see him again. Is that actually true? Are you kidding? Not at all. I but got if I got rid of my got him off my property. See? Socializing doesn't help you in any way at all. That guy should know. He's a doctor. Doc? Yeah? What is all this stuff for? Yeah, lay it on me, Doc. I'll tell you what, it's a little complicated to put in the words. So I'll just demonstrate in sex. Fantastic! Need a knife, Doctor? You you want to see what it? Yeah. You really, really want to see it? Yes, yes, yes! Come on, man! It's a pity you don't have a battery for it then. Uh, what kind of battery does it need? Don't worry, it's a crystal AB85 and Dob Duxton. Stronger. I don't think you have to pay either. He owes me a favour. That sounds like a simple enough task. No, don't, don't that say that. Never say it in a game. 
Oops. Yeah, dude, you should know this. Anyway, I mean, come on. If you know who Guybrush Reapwood is, then obviously you know adventure games. And you know when things look like it's going to be simple and ain't simple. Anyway, why am I doing that? I talk to Bob. Hi, Bobby. So I guess I wasn't done in this place. I like to make a purchase. Wonderful. I want to make a purchase. Stop doing that, brain. Okay, Crystal. You said you had to sign for a favor. Certainly. Oh, well, it doesn't look difficult at all. The next case is for next week. Hell. Oh. Strike stop, man. Double. You sold the last one before. Well, that sounds familiar. Let me guess. Sylvia! I'm on you, Sylvia. Right, now to get back here again. And, of course, you can guess where it's gone. Yeah, battery, battery, battery! I'm sure that'll work. Ooh, flaming. Looks like something electronical behind it. Now will you pour this on it? Well, the hell with it. I need to examine that electrical stuff. Yeah, that's the spirit. Pour the alky on the flame. Huh? There's a hologram? Jeez, I could have reached through it the whole time. What's the point of a holographic fire? Oh well. There's a bit a bit wasn't a bit of needless vandalism between neighbours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, and theft. Oh, should I assault, call that assault and battery? Hilarious. It's a pun about beating up people. You know what, so don't I don't, so I don't overrun the video, I'm probably gonna, I should probably stop before giving the battery to Doc. But before then, I got a date to invade. Yeah, like a day of 110. Giggle. I couldn't think of a nicer way to spend the day. Hell yeah. Hi. Oh yeah, hi. You seem to be having a good time. Yeah, you certainly do. Oh yes, a wonderful time. Look who I met. I've noticed. She's great. Apparently she's meant to be meeting someone called Abraham Leonard in here. He didn't show up. The swine. I'm guessing that's the name you wrote down. Anyway, if I ran into him, I'd teach him a thing or two. That's highly unlikely. Oh, about your magazine yet? Oh yeah, I, you know, I completely forgot about that. Sylvia, this is Herford. Uh, isn't he wonderful? In fact, you were even working on an expedition on modern sculpture together. Yes, certainly you are. I just wish I met you sooner. Hey, <laughs> thanks, babe. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, isn't it? Really? He's also one of my top reporters for the magazine I put together. Top reporter? What's to this? Can I be nice to her today? You never said you're a journalist. I can't stand journalists! No, wait, I'm trying to get a I'm not trying to get a story out of you here. Huh. I promise. I I intended to collaborate I'm more interested in collaborating in the fabric of a, a society. And not collaborating the fabric of my name, my, my I don't understand. No, well a little, but not for the magazine. Wait, collaborating for your undergarments? That's one way of putting it. That outfit is simply st stunning. Give it a rest. Well, now I've absolutely ruined their, his chances. I think this is a good place to stop the video. Till next time, goodbye.